Hello viewers, today we are here to present details about proficiency testing which is very important for any testing laboratory. In this video, we will also unbox a PT sample provided by a PT provider. Let's discuss about the proficiency testing. Proficiency testing is also known as inter-laboratory comparison which enables laboratories to monitor and improve their performances over time. You can determine the performance of a laboratory for a specific test by participating in a proficiency testing. After the proficiency test, a PT report or certificate will be given by the PT provider, which reflects the quality of the participant laboratory. PT participation is mandatory for ISO 15189 and ISO 17025 accreditation of a testing laboratory. If you want to participate in a proficiency testing, you have to go through some steps. At first, you have to apply or register in a PT program. Then, pay the PT registration fee if applicable and submit the necessary documents to the PT provider to confirm your payment and registration. After processing all of the formalities, PT provider will deliver the PT sample to your laboratory. After receiving the sample, start analyzing it considering as a routine analysis in your laboratory. After the analysis, submit the result on due date. Finally, you will receive a PT report or certificate from the PT provider based on your submitted test results. Let's unbox a PT sample. We will see how a PT sample is delivered to a participant laboratory and what other things are enclosed with the PT sample. This is the box of PT sample. We just received it from the courier service. Let's open the box. A address tag is attached on top of the box, which is used by the courier service to deliver the parcel. Let's see what are inside the box. Oh, I got a wrapped envelope. Some documents attached with it. I think this is another tag from the parcel service. I don't want to wait more. I'm just going to open the envelope now. Here we have uh, some papers and documents along with another packet. Let's open it.
I got uh, two PT samples in a Ziploc bag. One sample is in the vial B and coded with sample type, lab code and PT round number. And another sample is in vial A. Now we are going to take out the documents. First page tells about the packing list of the parcel. Second page is all about the shipping invoice. Third, fourth and fifth page are safety data sheets. Sixth page is the chemical test report of the sample A as we received the sample for microbiological test. Seventh page is also chemical test report for sample B. Next pages are about shippers certification, government approval card, government taxes and charges. Then we got an authorization letter to export the shipment. Two additional documents of testing instructions and result submission form are sometimes delivered to the participant laboratory through the email system. Let's know about some precautions for testing the PT sample. To get the accurate PT results, you must have to maintain some precautions. Like, after receiving the sample, it should be stored under appropriate conditions until the analysis. Before analysis, read the documents you received with the PT sample very carefully. Keep the documents stored for future. Analyze the PT sample following the SOP and instructions provided by the PT provider. Submit the analysis result on due time in the result format given by the PT provider. If any kind of distortion of the PT sample is observed, hold the test and inform the PT provider immediately.